Hello our most valued student, my name is Confident, welcome to a quick revision session and I'm looking at the theorem of Pythagoras, which is the Pythagoras theorem or the uh, Pythagorean theorem. It is a very, very, very common theorem when you're working with triangles and for you guys who are doing your mathematics from grade 8 as you are laying your foundation, you need to know this theorem of Pythagoras. So what is actually uh uh, what is it talking about in basic? What it means is you need to have a triangle and the type of triangle that you need to have when you're dealing with the Pythagoras theorem, it's a special type of triangle which is called a right angle triangle. So this is a right angle triangle. What makes it right angle? It's because of this 90 degrees. See that? So if you don't have that, unfortunately it's not gonna work so the Pythagoras theorem the first one you need to see that 90 degrees if you don't see it don't apply it secondly what does the theorem say the theorem of Pythagoras uh, he came up with this formula to say if I have in this case the longest side let's call the longest side um, in this case we are going to call it Z or let's call it R for interest sake. If this long side is R and this side is X and this side is Y. So what did Pythagoras theorem say? He said if you take the two sides X squared, you square them plus Y squared, then it says if you square the side, it says the sum of the square of the smaller side is equal to the square of the longest side. So you take the smaller side X you square it, you take the other side y, you square it, it is equal to the square. Now, not this, this is not allowed. I'm putting it in the box. Students usually say x plus y is equal to r, and they're saying it's Pythagoras theorem. This is wrong. Don't do that. That's not x plus y, but it's x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. We need to square the what? The, 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 the sides. So if they say explain or define the Pythagoras theorem, you are going to say the sum of the squares of a right angle triangle, the sum of the squares of the smaller sides of the right angle triangle, sum meaning plus, is equal to the square of the longest side. So this is the theorem or the Pythagoras theorem. So quickly, let's apply it. Let's say sometimes we've got this kind of special triangles. A special triangle is a triangle like this, whereby if I'm given, for example, let's say this side is 4 and this side is 3, remember it must be a 90 degrees. They'll say, let me find this side x. So using the theorem of Pythagoras, the moment they give you two sides, what you do is you cut the Pythagoras theorem. It says x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So now you ask yourself which one represents x. You can see that 4 represents my x, 3 represents my y, x represents my r. Are you seeing that? So you now have to just substitute. So where there is x, what are you going to have? We're going to say 4 squared plus where there is y, is 3 squared is equal to r which is x squared now 4 squared is 16 plus 3 squared is 9 is equal to x squared and then when you add that it will be 25 is equal to x squared that's where now you find uh, the final answer don't leave your answer like that the next thing to do is to square root very important you square root both sides and when you square root both sides square root of 25 is 5 now 5 is equal to x, that becomes the answer. Then this side is equal to 5, that's what it means. Hence I say it is a special kind of a triangle, look at it, 3, 4, 5. It's uh, found using the theorem or the Pythagoras theorem. Let's try another example again. When you're using the Pythagoras theorem, let me draw a triangle. In this case, let's say you have a triangle like this. Remember, it must be 90 degrees. Let me make it like this, like that. 
looks nice to me and like that it might not fit well and then you have a 90 degrees here they must always be 90 degrees and then let's say on one side you have in this scenario you have got um let's say you have got 12 here and then here you have got 13 actually let's say let me give the other side let's say you've got 12 and then here you've got 15 what is this side let's call it x now the moment you see the 90 degrees remember it's a pythagoras theorem so you quote it which says x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared so when you've coded it like that you remember okay the x will represent that x the y will represent what the 12 now the longer side you can see the main thing here identify your longer side that is my longer side and that longer side is equal to that so what do i have now x remains x so it will be x squared plus now where there is y you see i put 12 squared is equal to 15 squared see that now how do i solve for x i need to know to say x squared you know you just rely on a calculator take uh, the positive 12 squared to the other side it becomes 15 squared minus 12 squared so you've got x squared is equal to then your calculator can then simplify that for you to say what is 15 squared minus 12 squared so you're going to say 15 squared minus 12 squared equal to 81 so you've got 81 here then what is the next thing to do remember you say you square both sides whenever you've got square here you square it. that is how you find your final answer to say x when you're square rooting, you are removing that square. Square root of 81 is equal to 9. So even this one is a special type of a triangle that is 15, 12, and here being 9. So that is how you find or you find one side of a triangle given 2 and you are using the Pythagoras theorem. Now let me repeat up again. What did we say? When you're given the uh, a triangle number one you'll be given a triangle like this in this particular triangle number one it must be a special type of triangle we say it is what it must have a 90 degrees so when it says a 90 degrees it's a right angle triangle then you can apply the Pythagoras theorem and if this side is y this side is x and that side is r or let me just use any other letter it doesn't matter for example, this side can be Z, this side can be X, uh, let me call it, um, can be A, this side can be B. So what is the theorem saying? It says A squared plus B squared is equal to Z squared. That is the Pythagoras theorem that you need to apply whenever you are dealing with the what? A right angle triangle. So if they give you two sides, it will make you find the fourth side, I mean the third side. So they will give you two to find the fourth side. Sometimes it can be not really complicated whenever they make it like this. Let me just give you another, an extra example here. Suppose they give you a Pythagoras theorem like that. Like this. Uh, suppose here, so this is 90 degrees here. And then suppose they say to you, you need to solve for x. They give you a side to say, this is a 5. See that? And then here they say, this is 4. And then here they say, x minus 2. They can give that. And then they say, find that other side. So what do you do? You do the same thing. Remember, as I said, it's the theorem of Pythagoras. You are going to say the two sides which is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared you do that and then to apply you take this thing as one it becomes your 
x so you're going to say x minus 2 squared you see that plus y can become that one which is 4 squared is equal to r squared is 5 squared that is how you can even use it uh, in such a case but i'm not gonna go uh, much deeper here it's a matter of expanding that because this is same as x minus 2 x minus 2 you see that plus 4 squared is what is 16 is equal to 25 and then you can solve for x but it's beyond the lesson or the scope of this lesson anyway guys we're looking at theorem of Pythagoras as I say and we have come to the end of our lesson remember to subscribe and ensure the notification bell is turned on to be notified every time we post a new video thank you